Welcome back to Red Embrace. It's been a while. I haven't played in almost a week. I was in a wedding this past weekend, and uh, congratulations to Andrea and Zachary. It was a great ceremony, and I had a lot of fun. Uh, it was also exhausting, and now I'm finally free to get back to uh, playing wonderful dating sims, which will probably be the reason that I will never get married. Uh, last time we finished Dominic's endings and then we started in on Isaac's route and so far he's been um, a sassy little jerk, which I was kind of uh, expecting, but we'll see if maybe he has hidden depths. Well, Denny, I mean, you could have not gone. What the fuck? What the fuck kind of line is this? Like a pink bunny who vomits rainbows. Okay. And Rex is a little baby angel. You just don't know because you haven't talked to him yet. I have a sexy dream about Isaac. Oh. Or that. Nye. <laughs> to arrive upon my face. It's not, and I'm so excited because I'm so happy vampires are fucking real. I pick up my clarinet and begin to play it aggressively as I rap. Maybe a little bit of both. Then he fucking writes this song in every route. He wrote this same EP or whatever it's called with Rex and Dominic too. I'd laugh so hard if he turns the lights on and Isaac is fucking sitting in the diner already like, Oh, dear Dennis, you finally appeared for your scheduled shift. We also get this same fucking customer in each of the routes. 
is the guy okay let me predict is the dude that comes in and asks for an ice cream frothy thing gonna show up next holy shit I'm psychic now Not yet. Wow, Isaac's a little creep too, just like Dominic and Rex. He also just stands outside the diner and apparently watches Denny work. I never guessed that Dominic was one, even though he had fangs and didn't know how to drink coffee. That doesn't sound so bad. Be a nice break. Holy shit! Yes! Oh, dear Dennis, you don't seem excited. Most people have to pay for my company. <laughs> now, you will bow to my evil anime glasses. The corporate ladder of what? Vampire fights? more punchable every time I see him. Sure, let me just grab an eggplant from the display case to eat on the way. Dear Dennis, we will get you a job at a better establishment. Like an Arby's. Okay, but like, if Isaac's not a vampire, and some vampires actually do want to kick his ass for whatever reason, like, how would he stop them, though? Like, throw money at them? Or would he do his hypnotizing eyes? I guess that could work. What? What? Oh no. Oh, okay. I, th <laughs> I thought for a second that he was gonna be like, You must live with me now, dear Dennis. Not really. I don't really care about Luca. Denny. You pretty much are the fucking same as Luca, and you keep throwing all these insults at him. Like, you're not also a sassy blonde twink that, like, doesn't know what he's doing. I love how he's so happy about that. Like, oh yes, no one can fucking stand me. It brings me such joy. Oh, because Luca is searching for somebody, according to his profile thingy. Probably a vampire, if he's hanging out with Isaac, who does vampire fight stuff. Well, Isaac's like, but don't worry, dear Dennis, you're the only bottom for me.
This is so unfair. Isaac's the only one that doesn't have to live in a warehouse. Smells like citrus. This game is not lemony enough for that. Nobody will get that reference. If you were on fanfiction.net back in the olden days, when we had the citrus scale, you would understand. Oh my god. Isaac, no. Do you really want Denny? Have you seen his apartment though, Isaac? It's nasty. He's never cleaned it. Oh my god. Dude. Sexual harassment! Activate! He just really fucking gets off on people hating him, huh? A slightly more serious look climbed his features like a jungle gym. No, please! Keep awkwardly sexually harassing Denny until the sun rises. Oh, I was hoping that he would say, Nyeh. like he always does. He probably wants you to put the ass in assistant. What if he literally just wants a Denny to be an assistant? And he comes back and he's like, Alright, well, go get this food I ordered. Dude, Denny, he's rich. He probably has coffee that's like imported from Colombia. Alright, okay. Alright, dude. It's not like we like you or anything. Oh, yes. Dear Dennis, you see, I have a pair of pens that you must pick up from the dry cleaners for me. They are my favorite pair of pants, so this is very important business. Dun. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, do we get to be a spy? Oh my god, Denny's is the hot vampire hangout. I would think they would go to that club that Rex works at. Yeah, okay, but why would vampires go hang out at a diner anyway when they can't eat or drink? Well, I guess Dominic drank coffee, but that seemed kind of weird, and he didn't really do that stuff again.
<laughs> Good one. How dare you try to turn my Denny's into a fucking Perkins. That's where the blood's like, I don't know. I'm tired today. I can't make jokes. Oh! <laughs> we had Denny's a fucking wink, so yeah, they'll probably all try to eat him. Again, why would vampires want to go to a fucking diner? Dominic just said that he went there because he was gonna kill himself and he wanted one more day left to feel human. But why would normal vampires have a reason to go there? Like, to hang out? Why wouldn't they just go to a nightclub or something? And if it's a thing where they can't hurt anybody, then they're not even gonna get blood out of this deal, so it's... I don't get why they would show up. Oh, that guy! Yeah, we actually have already met him in another life. He killed us and made us... Oh, well... Yeah, I guess he kind of killed us. He made us kill Dom, too. But it's hard to hate him because of his Dracula daddy vibes. Hmm. Well, if Isaac is, like, a fight dealer and organizes all this vampire business, wouldn't he have already met Bishop? Wouldn't he have his number? Denny is gonna fuck this up so bad. He is immediately going to go up to a vampire and be like, hey, can I get you some chicken nuggets? By the way, uh, any word of an anarchistic revolt against Bishop? For now. All right, we need to set up this thing called personal boundaries or I will contact HR, Isaac. And Isaac's like, little do you know, I am the HR department. Is Isaac doing this for Bishop? Like he's trying to stop an uprising for Bishop's benefit? Or is he trying to stoke an uprising? Oh, opposite. So he wants to fuck with Bishop? Does this have something to do with Isaac's dark and tragic past that we don't know yet? But I'm sure he has one. What kind of plot is forming behind those evil anime grasses? Hooray! A side quest! I'll just have to let him sexually harass me without complaining until he trusts me more. The question I'd been wanting to ask all night. 
Isaac, will you please buy one of our fucking eggplants from the diner? They've been there for months. And it's starting to stink up the establishment, but Troy won't let me throw them out. Okay, well, there's another thing that I'm filing and eventually going to bring to court against you. He he probably fucking... Something, he either is like half vampire or he got bitten by a vampire or like partially turned. Or maybe he drank vampire blood and that's how he got powers. Nani? Dear Dennis, are you interested in my life story? What is it they say? If, if people look to the left, it usually means that they're about to lie. I forget that you're a winx. Oh no! Oh! Fucking knew it. I have sold my body in numerous depraved ways, dear Dennis. With who? I don't think it's Dom. Probably Bishop. Wouldn't you rather just be, you know, another Silicon Valley bro, Isaac? Sometimes I do long for a normal life, a simple existence in a nice suburb. With a husband I could call my own. And then he just starts stroking Denny's face again, like he always does. Well, now that's just kind of racist, you know? Like, I, you can probably trust Dominic. He's, he's a nice guy. Isaac, just tell us your tragic backstory. Oh, let's see. Um, uh, we're trying to be aggressive this route or this time, so I will not be sympathetic. I'll do the don't run away then. Blunt. Yep. Okay. Finish the job, Limey. (laughs) 
even if he is kind of a dick. He saved me so that he could use me, and he got me in this mess in the first place. That's my Dennis, that he starts ruffling our hair. No! You're always trying to touch us. Back up. God damn it. Oh my god. Let, yeah, let's leave. We leave and Isaac just starts crying like, I can't believe this. I had the latest sex in the city ready to stream. Okay, well, good night. What are you better? You work at a fucking Denny's. Isaac didn't sexually harass me nearly as much as I thought he was going to. And I'm definitely going to get his HBO Max login info. Oh dear, Dennis. You naive. Naive child. It's going to get worse. Okay. Oh, now comes the part in the story when we kind of flash forward a little bit, and then I bet something fucking dramatic is going to happen, and we will get Isaac's tragic backstory. He would always try to touch my face and it would creep me out. And then he'd invite me to have a movie night with him. And I'd say no and leave. Oh Lord. Nothing is as annoying as a man who constantly talks about movies. That's probably when his tragic life event happened. Like his family was fucking murdered by vampires, I bet. Oh yeah, Lucas is a roommate. I forgot about that. (laughs) 
I love when they call Denny Diner Boy. It brings me such happiness. Luca! Bad Luca! Isaac gets out his spray bottle. He's like, go to your room! Go! This is so weird. I thought Luca was his assistant. How dare you speak to my boyfriend? I mean, assistant in such a manner. Luca's like, I thought that I was the assistant manager to the assistant manager. Are you saying I've been demoted? Old man. He's 27. <laughs> oh, ouch. You fucking ancient crone. You're 27. Might as well call it a day, Isaac. I do want to know, though, what Isaac's favorite movies are. It would absolutely kill me if he, he, like, is a huge movie aficionado, but the movies he loves are actually, like, just shit movies. Like, he sits there and he talks to Denny, he's like, Oh, yes, I could wax poetic for hours about the merits of Troll 2, one of the finest films I've ever had the pleasure of ingesting. And let us not forget the second Baby Geniuses film. Such a classic. Was truly robbed at the Oscars. elbows our side that is definitely an improvement from when he was like trying to shove his thumb in our mouth that first time we met of Isaac is down to earth. <laughs> I truly am one of the little people. Well, businessmen, they're just like us. Sure, he sexually harasses me and is always trying to touch me, but other than that, he makes good coffee. And I got his fucking Hulu login information, and he pays for the version that without ads, so our friendship is worth it. Luca crying in the background like too late don't worry dear Dennis Luca and I are totally over we had a thing a while ago but now you're totally my new flame oh no he's sitting beside us Denny, did you watch him make your coffee? Make sure that it's safe. Or could it be <gasps> tragic backstory time?
Oh no, did the sad life event happen in the rain? Do not ponder, dear Dennis. I was merely contemplating a life event, but I do not wish to discuss it. Let us away. We will watch one of my favorite films, the live-action Bratz movie. All right, well, since you insisted, I guess I shall reveal to you my tragic life event, which shaped who I am today. Called it. Do you want to know how I got these scars, dear Dennis? For you see, my first encounter with a vampire was when my mother had a date with a vampire. They even made a movie about it. A Disney Channel original that was titled, Mom's Got a Date with a Vampire. They are all sheep, dear Dennis, but not us. Yeah, like, is the Mothman real, too? Ooh, or werewolves. Or both. There should be a game, a spin-off of this series, where we date the Mothman, or werewolves, or both of them at the same time. Argent Games, if you're listening, please make that a reality. Oh, well... I mean, yeah, but even without vampires, that would be true. That's just fucking reality, man. It's depressing. I would laugh if Denny, like, tried to hug Isaac, and he was just like, Whoa, whoa there. Please, I'm just not a touchy-feely person. You are in my bubble, dear Dennis. Oh no, he's put his mask back on to shield his darkness and his soul. But in a way, dear Dennis, isn't it true that life is a play and we are merely the actors? Perhaps in that way, I am already in theatre. He's like, I've always longed to be an actor, like one of my favorite actors, Robert Schneider. I don't actually know if Rob Schneider's full name is Robert Schneider. I'm just guessing. Hmm. 
maybe now you can afford some fucking Windex. Probably go through another uneventful night. But I'm guessing something wacky's gonna happen. I'm starting to wonder if Isaac hired me as an assistant just as an attempt to get in my pants. It might be because they're all extremely pale and they have fangs and they're loudly talking about how they're thirsty for blood. It's just a guess though, I'm not sure. Here in San Francisco, a lot of people fit that description. Oh shit, I bet they're talking about Isaac. Oh, or Bishop. Is it now time for Denny to try and stoke the flames of vampire rebellion? Oh, they said it. They said the magic word. Nye. I wonder though. Well, they did say it, that it was a vampire, but it'd be kind of sad if they actually were talking about wanting to get at Isaac and Denny encouraged it on accident. Denny's like sitting in the booth right next to them, like leaning over into their booth. Dun, dun. Rexy Poo, how we've missed you. Listen, we are not buddies. I'm his assistant. Good God! Okay, well, this is apparently everybody just wants to sexually harass Denny today. You tell him, Denny. No, Rex, I'm not interested in a vampire orgy at this time. Maybe next week. I'll see what's on my calendar. Oh, we didn't get to choose what to do at all during that whole scene. <laughs> My little burger flipper. Damn, that's almost as good as Diner Boy. Isaac, you know what? That pet name was kind of sweet, but it's still going in the file that I'm compiling to bring to HR. What could be more private than this Denny's?
Dennis, once again, I feel like I have to ask, are you making sure that you're watching when he makes the drinks? Here you go, dear Dennis. Please don't worry if there's a weird aftertaste. It's just a new beans that I'm testing out for the coffee. But what if they weren't talking about Bishop? Damn. This could bring world peace. Or I guess San Francisco peace. If all the vampire gangs just formed one giant gang. Oh shit, the evil anime glasses have been activated, but with Isaac's glaring face this time. Isaac's true motive is revealed. What is happening? Isaac, this is going in the file. Everything the shadows touch is his kingdom. Do you hear the people sing, dear Dennis? The revolution is upon us. No, it's probably fucking personal. Isaac didn't really reveal a lot of his backstory during his tragic backstory time. So I wonder if now we're going to find out. Why he really hates Bishop. <gasps> Give us all the juicy deets. Oh, I have to be mean this time. Aggressive. Damn, achievement unlocked. Tough love. Dang, are we trying to get his- are we getting his good ending this time? Is this like with Rex, like we're supposed to be aggressive and blunt and then that's the good ending? Well, I guess if we get his good ending first, we'll just get his bad ending second. What will Isaac reveal? Will it be the juicy deets of his sad backstory that he didn't tell us last time? Find out next time on Red Embrace. <laughs>